Hello, my name is Elle Hanley, and in today's editing guidance tutorial, I'd like to share with you how to embed your copyright in your images. Now, whether you're a professional or someone who just likes to take pictures, you probably want to learn how to embed the copyright in your image, because if you'd like to share this on the web somewhere, you know that once you put it out there, you have no control over where it goes or in whose hands it might end up. So it's a good idea to embed the copyright and make it obvious in your images. Uh, this is really simple to do, and the way that you do this is basically I wait until I've, I've got a final edit here. I pulled this image up that I edited a couple years ago, this image particularly because it has so much information I wanted you to see. Um, so when you're done editing, you simply go to File, File Info, and that will bring up this box with 40 bajillion tabs. Like, seriously, dudes, there's so many tabs. I honestly don't use any of them except for this description one. This is plenty for me. So let's go ahead and go down this little list here. Our document title. This particular image was taken at a Miss Aniela fashion shoot experience. So that's why it's titled that way. Great shoot, by the way. If you ever have the opportunity to attend, highly recommend it. This happened to be the 94th image I snapped, and it was the first edit of it. So that's why it's titled really dumb and boring. Sorry. Anyway, uh, at this uh, shoot, I had the opportunity to work with ooh, six or seven models. So I also included the model's name after each one, just for my clarification purposes. This is Dulce. Uh, next box is the author. That's me or you. Uh, author title. I don't know what that is. Uh, lady... Hanley. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, description. What? I want a title. Um, description is a great box. This is really where I store all of the valuable information about it, the stuff that I want to remember that I might need to call back up. If I were to use this image in a, like a fashion editorial that was published and I needed a full credits list, this is where I would go to get all this stuff. I don't have to go anyplace else to find out who styled it, who did the hair and makeup, what's my model's name, blah, blah, blah. So that's a great place to store all of that information. Um, rating, I don't know what that is. Description writer, I have no idea. Keywords, okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Keywords is an important box. I honestly don't use it. I tend to do most of my keywording um, as I upload to the individual sites, but this is a good and handy box to have. You can add all of your keywords here. You can put your website, your name, Anything that you want to be a keyword, you can pop it in here and it should um, upload when you're uploading your images to your various sites. Obviously that depends on what that particular site will allow or strip out of this data. So there you go. Uh, oh, and here we go. Now here's our important stuff. Copyright status. You have three choices of unknown, copyrighted, and public domain. Obviously I'm going to choose copyrighted. Um, and then you have your copyright notice where you actually literally get to spell it out. Um, and I believe that you can make a copyright symbol by doing paren c paren, but I tried that and it looks stupid, so I just copied this from the internet because I wanted it to look good. And then I wrote L. Hanley Photography, all rights reserved because that sounded good to me. Uh, and then down here is your where you can pop your website in uh, for your uh, URL. And that will hopefully be something that will allow people to find you and contact you should they stumble across this image and have to have it or whatever. Um, so there you go. This has got a, a, you know, your created information when you modified it and some other stuff, blah, blah, bloop. Uh, again, I don't really fiddle with anything else other than that. That's pretty much what I need. The cool thing about this is once you've got all your information in here, and like for this, I knew I'd have other images of Dulce that I'd want to pop in here, and she's wearing the same thing in every one. So I want to save this as a template. And you can actually do it. You can click down here to export and save it as a meta metadata template um, and call it whatever the heck you want. Click save these, and there you go. And then you can click on this and pull it up with all of this stuff, beep boop boop, whichever one you want, any old time you want. And it makes it super quick and easy to do. So. so there you go. It's really literally that easy to embed your copyright information in your images. And it's a really good thing to remember to do um, before you share them on the web. So there you go. Once it's done, you'll see this little copyright image appear. Um, this is something that I think you only see in a Photoshop file. I believe the JPEG, you have to open the properties to see this information. I don't 
I don't think you get that in a JPEG image, but you, it's, it's still embedded in the image. As I say, you go to properties and you can see all that. So there you go. That's how to embed the copyright into your image. I hope that you found that useful and I hope that's something you can apply to your editing. If there is anything that you would like to see me do or you have a, a question for me, please let me know. Send me a message. I would love to hear it. Um, if you are unfamiliar with my work, I would be so honored if you would go to my website at lhanley.com and check it out. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for your time and for listening and watching this editorial today. Uh, I hope that it was valuable and I hope to produce more interesting and awesome video content. So stay tuned. Uh, thank you so much, you guys. I will see you later. Bye, 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 bye.